couldn't take it anymore. I needed the room and the laundry room. I got that mattress that was ruined by that storm outside. Now I got to figure out what to do with it from here. It ain't going to sit there but very long. And that gives me a whole lot more room in this laundry room. I'm going to sweep this up. I may get some paint out. It's pretty darn hot out today, so I don't want to work outside. Got me a load of laundry going. Get prepared to move these over into the dog apartment. Uh, what I also need to do, I've got all these. I've got to patch this up here. I've got the sheetrock right there. All these are the camera wires for the security system. I'm going to reroute them. What, there's a cavity behind this wall between here the end of the cabin and the dog house and I'm gonna run some PVC I'm run these all through PVC they'll be in there hidden uh, since most of them are coming through the back and I still got two more cameras to mount on the side here on the west side so it won't be anything to route those around in through there that way they're all hidden and then I just got one up front that I gotta hide but I need to get this all patched in as you can see <laughs> got a hole up there yet i was waiting you know until i figure out what to do with these wires uh, they these wired systems uh do require quite a bit of work but i like it yeah i mean i can come in here and sit at my sit at my desk that's the outside i can spy in on libby over there my shed the chickens and there's Waldo sitting in the air conditioning. That boy, he don't ever. That's what I do. That bed, put it. Boy, wouldn't they love that if I put that big bed in there? He'd never come out. And then the. Oh, what's supposed to show you that? Oh well. But then I got two more to hook up, and then I'm gonna route them, get them all. I'm tired of these wires hanging everywhere. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is clean that room up I'm not gonna get I don't have the PVC wide enough for all them wires so we'll get that pick that up Tuesday I guess tomorrow's a holiday uh, let me get busy on it man sometime later I don't think most people have never even seen this room because it's been too bad to show and right now I'm getting ready to sweep uh, you would not believe I found 912 missing socks there appears to be 37 dryer sheets you know over here and i'm fixing to reroute some electric i've got a box of missing screws yep there they are all spilled out i've got my trusty magnet ah we're working on it and i already like it i took all these camera wires this is just temporary i get it get the uh, conduit run for it. I got them all up above my head. And you know, these are all 60 feet each. So I took each one of them, rolled them up, let them where they, just long enough where they would hit the floor, put them in duct tapes, and they're all not gonna be tangled when I take them apart. Uh, and this I wanna make the office. Uh, <laughs> this, where you see all that spray foam, well, when I had, I used to have six dogs in this yard. My God, that window needs clean. I had six dogs. Well, Waldo requested, well, it says right here, time tunnel. What I had is I had a corrugated pipe that went to the yard, and I had a little slot door there. And when I'd want to let them in the house, I'd raise that up, yell through the pipe, and they'd all come tearing in. I think I got a video of that on, on one of my dog videos and they would come in but they got so wild when all of them was in there i had to put a stop to it and there was another reason i had to close it off oh yeah look at this jungle out here this is where when i built the building i can no longer get back there so i'm gonna have to tear that piece of pants over there down <laughs> this is my uh cell phone extender i got a mess here we're gonna get this all fixed up patched up let me tell you something, there's probably 497,000 spiders. And I've been using this dude to get these cobwebs done. I should have never let this room get this bad. 
this thing's pretty nice. And there's one hanging there. You just turn it off. in the cabin. They all live in here. <laughs> Alright, I got another load of laundry going. Blankets from last winter. This is going to be nice. Get these out of here. Have a little office area. I got to put some more outlets in. This is the only one right here. And then I got one <laughs> I had to feed. Because I tore out all the old electric. So what I did is I got a hole of the old wire that I cut off and left in the wall and then I fed a new line down in a new outlet. And that's where my freezer is supposed to be nothing else plugged in but I got my cell phone extender. And now I'm in here debating where if this is a this yellow cord goes to my computer, my security system. I gotta reroute this. I'm just gonna plug it in there with the freezer for now. It ain't gonna pull much power. And I do need to wire some more outlets in here. But, and then I can get a ceiling up somehow before, that, that would be one, two, maybe four sheets of sheetrock. So I'll probably pick those up Tuesday. If I can get somebody to come help me, uh, put some sheetrock up, or I might be able to manage it myself, I don't know. But, yeah, see like this plumbing, that's gotta be rerouted. For that, like that electrical line or some other way. But I'm not going to need this because I'm putting all this over there. So I'm going to take that off, continue that plumbing that way. And that's the cold water. And I still got a bunch of cobwebs. And that's going that way too. So all that won't be there. And the dryer line won't be there either. And uh, I'm just going to use that same line. If I got to put a junction box in and continue on, I will. But anyway, for the first four years I lived here guys all I had was four or two lines out of this south wire coming into the house with a four-way box and then I put this new box in and uh, it's actually working pretty good in here so yeah I'll get all that tight. it's gonna be a big day trying to figure this out I'm probably gonna build a cabinet around this somehow so I don't have to mess with any of that and then uh, get this all finished up. This used to be the bedroom and I added uh, a little over, I don't know, three and a half, four feet. That's probably not quite four feet. Enough to get a new shower in and a closet, which the bathroom ain't finished yet either. I don't know why I cut a hole. I had some line going through that. I don't know. But this room was nasty when I bought the house. It still, <laughs> still is. But, uh, then I can get some trim on the door, get this. I got the multi-tool I'll take and I cut it in and get this flush and I can put some trim around here, get it all patched in and painted. I'm not gonna buy any more sheetrock put in here. I'll just fix this up. You won't even know. All right guys, let me get, let me get this floor swept, vacuumed, every, whatever I can do and uh, see where we end up. All right, that's another one off my project list. Woo! I've been busy. Got all this swept. I got this temporary hook back up because you see what I did. <laughs> I got the power lines around this. I had this dangling, uh, which is fine. This is going to have to be disconnected anyway. And then I can get that thing. I may not even leave it there. Who knows? So, so I got this all tidied up. That bed frame, I'm going to keep that. You used to be able to pick those up for 10 bucks. Not anymore. If you guys have priced them, they're about 50, 60 bucks for a double bed now. And I'm gonna leave this like that for just a short time. Plug that dude in better. And I'll get that in a minute. And now I got room to walk around. If I had a little table, I could set up a, you know, but this isn't gonna stay the laundry room, so. Uh, this is something I've been wanting. This room has sat here. Basically, have not done anything to it since I bought the place. Uh, I painted over the paint. We did not tear out the sheetrock on the walls here. I don't remember the reason. Uh, what this used to be here, this used to be the closet. This was a solid wall. This was the closet, and it came out to here. 
And there was a pantry that went all the way here down that way and I tore that whole wall out so this wall need to be framed in uh, I don't even know if that's a standard size for for a door it looks about right and then I need to I don't know if I want to put a door in there or not I don't think it's really necessary because you know I, I hate to have to open a door and then go out there and open another one and I got to make a decision about this hot water tank guys this thing was made let me see if i can find it it's on here 1992 i don't know where it's at but i read it 1992 that thing is ancient and i can't believe it's still going when i bought the cabin i had no extra money for stuff like that and uh but you know it's 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 it has served its purpose yep 1992 I don't wonder where the heck I've seen that. It's on there, one of them labels. There it is. I don't know if you can focus. 1992. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 1992. So what is that? 30 years old? 2002, yep. 30 years old and still going. I have replaced the elements in there, both of them it's been drained it used to be under the old stairway and when i added on to the bathroom this became a, and that used to be the door for the bedroom uh, i closed that off and so cool i'm gonna get ready get started on this room get that finished but you know this is not going to take priority over outside there uh getting that finished it's just a little hot today and i figured it'd be a good day to do this so that's what I did. I hope I didn't bore you guys, but this room has been, has been a catch-all for just whatever for years. And I know if I fix it up into an office, that's going to end. Uh, I did find a lot of tools. What I've been doing, you know, all the tools that I've had missing, when I find them or I put the tools away, I'll put them in a box. So I'm going to get all these boxes out one day and get them all organized. I've got pegboards set up in the shed. But I want a set of tools hanging in here or, or somewhere so I don't have to run way out there, unlock it and all that. And show you something else. We are getting full, but I got my vacuum sealer working. Boy, I like that. That's going to save me a lot of room. I wish I'm not going to go down there and dig out the stuff that ain't like this. But yeah, I like that that I've been into that's that's green peppers from this year but I did did a lot of green peppers today too so I got them in the other freezers so that's going to help out with room in the freezers and I got a whole bunch of ground beef and ground chuck in here that I bought that it was on sale and I'm glad I did because I think I got this for $2.98 a pound now it's like over five dollars a pound so there's probably 10 of these going all the way down but I, that was one good decision but I need a bigger one as you can see <laughs> so we're gonna have to be thinking about that and uh, I don't know if I want an office with this stuff in here but it, it really don't make no noise it doesn't you know you want a freezer in the house where you got air conditioning otherwise it's running all day long and you don't want that so well look what I found that's exactly what I need yeah I can fit all them cables through that. That's what I need. I don't know if I got enough. See? I should look up once in a while. All right, guys. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. We'll get back out to the build here real soon. I got I got the paint. I got the two by fours in my truck. That is something that needs to get done. The put the trim on the exterior and get that painted and get it all, all the flashing on it everything caulked i've already caulked a whole bunch yesterday i went out there and caulked i fixed around the uh for the roof where i had to cut out notches for the roof that's all waterproof now but i will uh probably start getting out there tomorrow i don't have any plans to go to town so i'll get out there early all right guys give me a like give me an unlike i don't care happy trails what are you doing sitting there in front of the fan in the air conditioning.
You don't care. You just don't care. I've been sweeping up your little rooster uh, dust rooster bunnies all day. Yeah, gotta do it two or three times a week. So your little rooster first come out. She don't care. She says, that's my job. 